Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. My brother adopted two dogs from the shelter and he asked me if I would groom them. So I'm going to groom them. We think they're a schnauzer mix. So he asked me if I would groom them. They're not Havanese. So I'm going to attempt to groom them uh, with just the general skills that I know from grooming. Okay, so here we have Louie. I did a voiceover because these two dogs are have never been separated in probably their entire life. So they're really clingy to one another. So while one is on the table, the other kind of whines because they like to be <laughs> touching one another. Um, but anyways, I just here drying them. Uh, this is Louie, and I just kind of brushed them out as best as I could. They had quite a few mats coming home from the shelter. Um, so I was just kind of seeing where they were as I was drying and if I could clip them straight off or if I needed to use a dematting comb. Uh, I cut out some pieces just because um, it's just a lot of work taking out mats and that would have got pretty boring especially since this is just kind of a video that I'm doing since um, it might be helpful to others. And uh, so now I'm just testing the vibration on him. He um, was a little worried and scared of it so I tried to have him sit but he, as you can see, he's really fighting me, so I just want him to get used to the vibration. And then he kind of calmed down a little bit. He saw that the vibration was going to happen regardless, and it wasn't harming him any. So he was a little finicky there, but he did well after I gave him a few moments. And uh, I just went short. Here I'm using a 2. I wanted to see if it was going to be the right length or not. Um, but I decided that the 2 was too long, and I ended up with a 1. I used a 1 comb on him and I took him down a lot shorter because uh, typically on a schnauzer body you have that shorter main body area and then they kind of have like longer scraggier, scra scraggly legs oh my gosh I can't speak now <laughs> um, and uh, then their head is pretty much shaved except for the front part of their face that kind of gets like a rectangular shape so that's kind of what I was going for they are mixes so it's kind of hard to work <laughs> properly on uh, a coat that's not exactly quite completely hair and that's not in the best shape either so as you can see I shaved most of his body and I left some hair on his um legs and then I'm shaving off his ears because typically schnauzers at least the ones I see they typically have shaved off ears so I wanted to do that because their ear hair was just kind of randomly growing in different areas again like I said they're mixes so we were just doing the best we we could with their coat so I wanted to shave both ears off and kind of give them a more uniform look they have really cute tiny little ears so I shaved off just the hair with the shortest setting on my handheld uh, clipper and then I took off all the surrounding hair with that one because I wanted it to match the body. And then I just shaved off most of the top of his head and just kind of left like a bang because um, typically that's what I see on a schnauzer. So I just shaved again with the way that the coat is growing and I just kind of went towards the legs and then I kind of scooped out so it left the legs really long so I could blend them later. So he had quite a few mats here so we had to use the dematting comb if you haven't gotten one of those for your Havanese or if you have uh, any type of hypoallergenic dog I definitely recommend it. And then I just kind of cleaned up his eyes because he had a lot of mats around his eyes. I know typically with schnauzers they don't really shave the snout but I had to get some of those mats off because they probably weren't comfortable for the poor little guy. Um, and this is times two speed, so it does look like I'm being a little rough, but um, I was trying to work as fast as I could because they weren't very comfortable on the table. And we were just kind of trying to get them cleaned up. I'm going to do another video where I did a lot nicer groom on them um, because they were able to tolerate it a little bit better. But here, we're just trying to clean them up. And as you can see, his face is starting to come around, and uh, I'm just cleaning off any straggling hairs I see, getting all those mats off of him so he can grow a nice, even coat after this. So he started uh, doing a little bit better, but he was still kind of whining. He didn't really like being up there, and I didn't want to bother him too much. So I was working as quickly and gently as I could and just kind of took off the hair everywhere that I wanted with that one, that same one guard I just used all over the place. And 
Then the side of the head, I scooped it off right next to the ear. I wanted that to be a one two because there's really no hair along their sides there. And then I just cleaned up the inside of the ear and then around so there was no hair sticking out and they had a nice even shaved ear. And then I combed all of his hair to the front over his eyes and that they kind of have like a triangular shape so it's small closer to the inside of their eye and then as you get to the outside of their head it kind of triangles out. Um, I know this isn't the best angle again I'm just kind of showing this so it's it's a video that someone might find useful and since I did it might as well record it in case it can help somebody and then I just took off the head again it's kind of they kind of make like a rectangular shape so you need it to be longer in the front and shorter towards his ears so he was doing a really good job you can see his tail wagging randomly throughout he was starting to get used to me and get comfortable with me so same thing I just combed it down and then I wanted to make that rectangular shape with his head so I just kind of trimmed off where I saw and where it needed to be evened out and he thankfully stayed still pretty well for here and I could get a decent little cut on his head. This is my first time kind of doing a schnauzer look, but I think he looks, here you can kind of see, he looks like a schnauzer to me. Um, he has a few hairs that you can see. I didn't do the greatest job, but um, again, I was just blending in those long hairs into his legs. I wanted him to not look so scraggly and look more uniform and uh, blended. So I just went around his legs anywhere where there's kind of hair just kind of sticking out. I just blended those into his legs with the scissors. And you can kind of see it start cleaning up and looking a little more uniform. They were kind of patchy. I think they um, had some hair that was growing back from being in the shelter. Uh, so the next time that I groom them, they actually have a lot better coat because it grew out more evenly. And um, they just got a, a good restart with this little cleanup groom that we're doing here. So you can see his little face. He does look more like a schnauzer. Let me know in the comments if you disagree or you have any tips and tricks for schnauzer grooming. I'm sure I'll be grooming them a few more times. So yeah, I'm just going down the legs, cleaning up any hair that's kind of sticking out and looking out of place, bl making sure it just kind of looks really blended into the shaved portion of his body so that his legs don't aren't string beans against this kind of strong body that he has. And I just kind of pull the hair out a few times and kind of just clip it off. I wasn't going for perfection. I was just going for a cleaner look because they looked really scraggly when they got to the house. I mean, scraggly is always cute too, but it's cute when they get a nice little haircut. So again, I just cleaning up, just kind of combed out all the hair. I still managed to miss that little eye section there that I can see on the camera now, but... I think he looked a lot better than with all his little mats that we kind of had to take out. You can see all the hair that's on the table that we managed to get off of him. He didn't look like he had quite that much hair. And then I just went around the paws. Uh, I wasn't able to clip their nails in this video. Their nails are pretty long. They were really kind of tired of me at this point, so I didn't want to bother them too much. Um, and I knew I was going to get a chance to groom them again in a different video, so I skipped the nail trimming here, and then I moved on to Louie. He was a little more desperate to be with his brother, so um, I just started shaving, so he was pretty distracted. He didn't seem to mind. He just kind of wanted to get off of the table. So um, he, I think, didn't have quite as many mats as his brother did. He has a little bit different coat, but you can see how much hair he kind of has on his head. That was a lot. It was like softer type of hair. They have different coats even though they're, they, they're brothers. But he did pretty well overall. He was more concerned with his brother, so we removed his brother to see if that would be okay. And he did a little bit of whining, but it seemed to be better for him versus the other... Larry, his brother, didn't seem to do really well without Louis here on the table. So he let me kind of work on him. And again, this is times two speed in case you're joining right here. So it looks like I'm being rough and fast, but it's just sped up. I was as gentle and quick as I could be with them. So same thing. I just did a one on his body. I wanted them to kind of look similar. 
even though they're kind of built a little bit differently. But I just took a one on his body and then a one shaving most of the hair off the top of his head because I didn't want him to have any of that, even though he had those, like a nice soft hair on the top of his head. But I just wanted to take off as much of that hair as I could. And then I just went down with the way that the hair grows. Remember, always go the way that the hair grows. And then I just kind of scooped out at the legs so that I could blend those in later. And then I shaved his tummy a little more than I did Larry because he had a lot more chest hair that was kind of matted too. And then same thing, shaved his ears. I wanted his ears shaved too. You can kind of see that they just kind of grow random hair spots. So it looks a lot better shaved and they sit really nicely on the top of their head, bent over. I think there's little cuties. So same thing, I'm just blending into the legs. I did him a lot faster than I did Larry um, because he was kind of whining and I didn't want to stress him out too much. And he didn't have as many mats either, so he was able to be groomed a lot faster as well. And he did a really good job. So I'm just blending these into the legs and trying to correct him as I do. I'm, I'm pretty stern on my table if you've seen some of my other videos. That way they get used to me and they know my rules and when they come back I can get a, ni a lot nicer groom on them as well. I don't want them to take advantage of me. So I had to keep correcting him. He wanted to look right at me where his brother always wanted to look away so that was kind of funny. And I just blended everything in like I said. I don't want to repeat myself too many times. I'm just doing a voiceover like I said because he was whining quite a bit and it can get you know, pretty repetitive hearing him cry. It's never a cute thing to hear either. So same thing, I just combed his hair towards his eyes and then I just cut it off, shaved it really close, cut it really close, sorry, not shaved, um, against the side right in front of his ears and then the hair that goes in front of his face, I just kind of clipped out right between the nose because he had a little mat there. And I tried to do a rectangular face on him, but he has a little bit different head as well, but I think he manages to come out pretty well even though he moved so much but again this was just kind of a cleanup groom I wanted to get a lot of those mats out of them and kind of see what their body type was and how they did on the table so you can see his his face looks a little bit different than his brother Larry did and then I shaved their tail I don't think I showed that with Larry but I did shave their tail took off all that hair I just did um, I matched it about the body length so that it didn't look like a rat tail, but I didn't need it to have that long hair that was just kind of growing at the bottom end of it. And then I tried to square his head off too. I wanted to kind of give him that rectangular shape. Maurice had to help me because he was a wiggle worm. <laughs> so Maurice did a really good job here helping me out so I could get a better shot for you guys without him wiggling all over the place. And same thing, I just cleaned up, rounded out his paws, any hairs that were just kind of hanging out where they weren't supposed to be, I just kind of clipped them off so he had nice, even-looking paws. And then I saw a few little straggling hairs there, so I kind of pulled them out and clipped them off again. And then same thing, just pulled out the sides, kind of cl clipped that hair off so it blended into the body as evenly as I could. Again, this is a fast groom, so it wasn't something I was going I wasn't going for perfection. Like I said, I just wanted to clean them up and I just went around the paws. Any little hairs I saw, I just clipped those off. And I think his little face looks so cute. I think I saw some hair on the that wasn't quite blended from his legs to, from his butt to his legs. So I just kind of shaved that off out of one. And he's done here. He did a really good job. Okay, so that was my quick groom, my take as best as I could on a Schnauzer mix. They've never been groomed as far as I can tell. They really kind of struggled, so it really looks 
a lot like me just kind of chugging them out, which I'm not. I'm being as gentle as I can and correcting them and trying to be as patient as I can while still getting them a groom. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll link everything that I use in this video in the description. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. There's only more videos to come, grooming videos, training videos, and cute puppy videos as we get them. And thank you so much for watching.